the weather's being very tricky today. <laughs> it's showers, sunshine, so showers, sunshine. <laughs> That's hard to say. Uh, but I've got a quick little delivery to take up to Yak Health for a lady that's turning 108. I've never met anyone that old. So that's exciting. So we're gonna go do that. And tonight, by the time you see this, it will be finished. Well, I may have uploaded more tubers, but the daily sale starts tonight. I spent the whole weekend, not the whole weekend, most of Saturday, um, counting stock, uploading, items to the website getting it all ready sending out the emails to everyone who subscribed to the emails i'm excited about that done let's go home I just got a call. I don't know where I put my wallet. I just got a call. Oh, from a friend. She's doing, her and a few friends are doing funeral flowers. So they need the foam for the top of the casket. I don't think she realizes quite how big they are. Have to wear my Bunnings hat again, but I am going to decorate it with this fabric. Sorry Bunnings, I'm taking your logo off and I'm gonna retrofit the hat because I don't really love the green on me. Moving these daily tubers, I've noticed that more have woken up. So I'm just going to quickly go in and get my list and I'll amend the amounts for sale on the website before tonight. <laughs> We're sitting outside checking the daily tubers for eyes. I'm just going back over them again. And I thought I'd show you what that looks like. Some will be really, really easy. As you can see this one, I just got a, you can see that it's got a shoot on it already. Very easy to see. I sit out in the sun so I can see. So I will grab a tuber and make sure I've got the sun on it and just twirl around the crown to look for an eye. And I can't see one on this. An eye that hasn't got a shoot in it yet kind of looks like a little pimple on the skin. Uh, this one's got a couple of eyes. I'll we'll see if we can see it. You can see those little tiny pimples. It does take some practice. And for me, it's been a few seasons to actually be able to identify the eyes properly. Here's one that just has the little pimple. It's right there. Let me see if I can... Can you see that tiny little... It's just like a little bump. Sometimes the ugliest tubers will be viable. So you can see this one's sprouting it's actually quite an ugly looking tuber that doesn't mean anything if they're ugly and also little tiny ones this tiny tuber completely viable it'll grow into a nice big full plant i'm really sorry about the wind noise today it is so windy just ridiculously windy anyway i'm set up everything's ready to go i've lost my tripod again i don't know what's going to happen <sighs> bit nerve-wracking isn't it next job get this hot house, I mean the shade house set up. And I also want to get the hops in the ground today.
What would have eaten those? Well, just friend the rabbit. Yeah, but what there's nothing else. Eat it, just... The kale's not eaten. Nothing else is well, eaten. They don't, they don't need it. They're just chopping in half. Look. Are you sure that that... It's really weird because I've got veggies all planted over there. What, how do you explain the veggies then? They always do this to the... They always do this to the sunflowers. That sucks because we were about to have, like, within a month of sunflowers on that. Mm -hmm. We were. Ah. <sighs> We need to get the fencing up ASAP. We actually got some kale in the end. We didn't pull these ones out. They didn't go to seed, so it must just be this particular variety. So I'm gonna go through and take all the lower leaves off and we'll use these in bouquets this week. But look, it's actually pretty good. unusual for us to have that amount of wind down on the flower field it's usually just looking for a shovel while we talk it's usually up higher the windbreak usually works but it's not working today found it that's what I actually came out here for before and I forgot uh, let's get into this. But I was just having a think. What if I do a whole new garden bed? I use the rocks that cannot be there. I've got to move them. I just okay. pulled them out of the dirt. What if I did a garden bed all the way across there to hide and then it's like a little hidden area in there? What do you think of that idea? Uh, mm, I could yeah, put my yeah. camellias. Yeah, okay. Do you think the camellias would like it here? We're back on. That is going to look really cool once it grows up and covers. It's quarter to seven. I'm racing around trying to get dinner on before I have to go and make this sale live. I mean, once it grows up, I don't really have to do anything. It just will sit there until things sell or I end the sale. So, whew. We'll just get the dahlias up and go through and click them all. Everything's available. That last little dahlia, I have to actually make it show up. Yeah, it's all up. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. Yeah. And now I touch nothing. Just in case, because this is a very glitchy. Uh, I mean, if you're familiar with which program I'm using, you'll know who I'm using. So I just don't want to say. It is so glitchy. And it is so clunky on the back, back end. Like I just um, added that one extra dahlia and it deleted all the others. So I had to add them all back in. So um, now I touch nothing because it's all working and I'm not risking it. I'll check back in, maybe in an hour. We'll see how we're going. I'm outside just looking at the plants because I think the sale was a flop. I sold one mystery pack, that was it, to a friend and she did that straight away. So I'm not really sure what happened. Do, I not, do not enough people know about it? Maybe I didn't advertise well enough because the impression I get is when other people do sales, 
everything sold out straight away. You know, like sales are sold out within 15 minutes sort of thing. Ah, oh, I said it sucks. So, yeah, I do actually feel pretty disappointed. Because I just honestly thought that this was going to be sort of a sure thing. And I thought this could be another revenue stream. I'll update you in the morning, but I think at this point, if people haven't jumped on the sale, it's probably not going to happen. frost and it's the middle of October the weather is nuts like it is near impossible to plant anything anymore farming is very difficult <laughs> anyways um, I only sold seven orders for the dahlias which is I'm happy at least I sold something but maybe it's a good thing I didn't sell out now because we might have to replant many of those dahlias. The ones I did, um, the ones I did on camera, the four rows, I planted those fairly deep. So that would take, you know, a couple of weeks for those shoots to come through. Um, but Maroon, I planted his quite shallow and some of them had their shoots exposed. And I would say they just got hit by frost. Um, sometimes what can happen is that early shoot can die off and another one can just regrow. Um, we may have to manually go in and snap the shoots off to encourage that to happen. So, there's never an end to the drama on a farm. <sighs> to be honest, I don't even feel upset about it. I think I'm just so used to it now, we just get on with it and just do what we got to do. It's pretty early, I've got to go into town early, but I feel like I should nick out and just check what the tips, if the tips actually got frost on them so we know whether we're snapping them off or not. I'm running late anyway, so at this point, I'm already late. It's a pretty day. Like everything looks beautiful. Oh no, you can see the frost patch there. Uh, it has hit. Oh, that's a pain. Oh, and the rabbit's up the back. So the plants up the back that would have got hit are my pumpkins, which sucks. These did get hit. I can see them. We've had weeds come up already, but there's one there. It's sparkling like it's had ice on it. You can see it on my garlic. So my cucumbers. I don't know, it was a really light frost. It may be okay. Just got to hope that none of those leaves go mushy now. I did wonder yesterday too if we should cover things because there was snow predicted down to a thousand meters, which means the, the hill behind us gets snow on it. It honestly didn't feel cold enough though. Oh, there's a duck and it's hiding. <sighs> Couple of dahlias and I've checked, they've got eyes. Well, they've actually sprouted. So I've got two Ken's Gold, my uncle's name is Ken, and two, uh, well there's actually four, there's two in each one, Little Angel. Little Angel last season and the tuba didn't survive. So that's good, it's so cute, I love it. And I'll call James my little angel, so it's cute isn't it? It's nice when you find dahlias that have sort of a meaning because of their name. Um, I've also been to the post office, I've got the shipping boxes we're going to ship off these orders that have come through so far i got another one which is really good so i've got these so these are so for anyone who doesn't know we can get these express post boxes they're prepaid so this was 14.10 for the post i think it was about two dollars ten for the box 
Um, and then these ones are eighteen fifty for the post, and another two ten for the box. Jeez, postage is so expensive in Australia. Uh, I've got to try and do all this with James on me now. It's a bit stressful because I need to get the postage. Okay. Yay, and they made it so lovely. Thank you. Our post leaves at 1 p.m. here from Yak. So I've got to get all this back by 1 p.m. <laughs> Break down, try to do this with James. It's actually horrible. Oh, ow. I don't want to. You need to stay in here and just wait. I had to just give up on that. I really wanted to get them in the post today, but it's now 12 30 and I've got I've only wrapped one because I just can't get two seconds to even use my brain because James won't leave me alone. So I'm just going to do it tonight when I can do it in peace and work on something else now because it's not really fair on him that I'm so stressed and cranky and I just really don't feel like being around him because I'm trying so hard to do another job. So I'm just gonna cut my losses, work on something else that he can work on with me and we'll go back to this later. <laughs> Marketing strategy from earlier today. just been going through what I've got left. I'm calling it a night. to get this shade house up so I've got everything ready I'm gonna go quickly pack the last orders for today which could be the last tuba orders altogether I'm not sure and then we'll come back this afternoon and do this job when it's cooled off a bit this is the mess shade house is going down there just for this season uh, in the winter I'll put it up over there um, lawn mower and rotary hoe in there and I've got to sort out all this junk I'll list some up on our We've got a free cycle site locally. If people want anything, they can just come and get it. Um, otherwise, I just need to go to the tip and get rid of it. Ah. <sighs> 
one Venetian and one first prize. Venetian. And first prize, where are you? Over here, I think. Yeah. So you're probably wondering, how did the sale go? All up I sold 13 orders, which I had hoped for more, but I am grateful that I at least sold that. Because in hindsight, I didn't advertise well enough. I just kind of, I, t I talk to you here on YouTube about it, but I've got to keep reminding myself, this is a global audience and you're here for a different purpose. So <laughs> um, I know that many of you can't buy plant stock from me even if you wanted to so I've got to remember that I need to actually advertise on our florist page uh, which does make it tricky I mean I do need to keep the dialogue going on the florist page about gardening even though I changed those I changed I split the business into two so um, something else is even though the varieties I put up were beautiful as cut flowers I think a lot of the people buying them aren't really buying them as cut flowers. So maybe they don't care. I do still want to continue doing that though, like curate a really nice collection that have a nice vase life and are really nice in bouquets. I'm happy with the process I had, the way I listed them, the way I kind of kept my stock all separate and in the correct varieties, labeling how I posted them. I am happy with that. So now I've just got to really hope that when customers get their order, they're happy with it. I know everything has an eye. Um, many of them actually had a sprout, so that was shooting already. Um, but I'm in a Dahlia group and people complain just constantly. And some of the stuff that they put up, like they'll put a picture of the tuber up that they're not happy with. And I'm looking at it thinking it looks perfect. You know, it's a tuber, it's an ugly thing. I'm not sure what people expected. Um, but in saying that, I think there are some people selling Dahlia tubers that don't know what an eye is and they're just sending off a tuber and they potentially aren't checking that it's even going to grow. So, uh, but the other thing is I've bought from big sellers before and the tuber just didn't grow. I just think it's just, and it had, um, it did have an eye when I got it I, and I put it in the ground, it looks good. Everything was good and it just didn't grow. So at that point, I don't think you can come at a seller for that. So, um, yeah, I felt disappointed initially because I only sold one pack for like an hour or so. Um, and then um, Jenna from Tellerwood, she helped me. She put a post up in a Dahlia group for me and then some orders went through. I think I just needed to have advertised much earlier. Yeah, so that's how that went. Pretend the camera's not there. James, stop looking at the camera, you're not allowed to look at it. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at it. I'm looking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that? like this. <laughs>